three basic ingredients to the blues that we want to talk about are the harmony, the rhythm, and the form. The most basic way that people talk about the harmony of the blues is either talking about the minor pentatonic scale or the blues scale. If we're talking about blues in E flat, we're going to have from the top E flat, D flat, B flat, A flat, G flat, and E flat. If we add what people call the blue note or the note that makes the minor pentatonic scale into a blues scale, we add a note between the B flat and the A flat, which is A. Feel wise, blues is often based on the shuffle rhythm or the eighth note triplet rhythm. But the important thing that I want to talk about with the blues is that blues doesn't have to be only minor pentatonic or only blues scale. Blues can also be a major third or a major seventh on almost every chord change you can play in the blues. We also have the form, the 12 bar blues form. The 12 bar blues form is made up of three phrases that are four bars each. The first four bars are gonna be on the root. In this case, if we're talking about E flat, there are four bars of E flat. Now I'm gonna play the major. Now A flat. That's the four chord. Now back to E flat. Now we go to the five chord, B flat. And back to E flat. And we end in E flat. It can cycle like that for ages. So what we want to do is practice not only playing this minor sound that we always like, but we also want to practice playing major thirds and major sevenths as well. This will open up the sound. It gives the blues more variation. It gives us more emotions that we can conjure up when we're playing the blues. It gives you a freer form of expression, and it'll make everything sound fresher instead of it sounding like you're playing a scale. And those are some of the blues basics for bass guitar.